Michelle Kwan is ice skating at a constant speed of 8 meters per second when she skates over a rough patch of ice with a coefficient of friction of 0 0.8. Her mass is 50 kilograms. How long will it take for her to come to a complete stop? You will start by drawing a free body diagram for the skater. The two forces acting on her are the normal force up and the weight, which is mass times gravity, down. For the equations, you begin with Newton's second law, which is the sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration. The sum of the forces is equal to the normal force minus mass times gravity. Because there is a constant velocity, the acceleration is equal to zero. Then to solve for the normal force, you can rearrange the equation and plug in your known values. These values include the given mass, which is 50 kilograms, and the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. It should work out so that the normal force is equal to 490 newtons. The force of friction is equal to the normal force times the coefficient of friction. So when you plug those values in, you should get 39.2 newtons. The total initial energy equals the total final energy. So the initial potential energy plus the initial kinetic energy plus the work equals the final potential energy plus the final kinetic energy. The initial and final potential energies are zero joules. The work is equal to the frictional force times the distance traveled. Initial kinetic energy is derived from the initial speed of the skater using the equation 1 half mv squared. And the final kinetic energy is zero because the skater comes to a complete stop. Then the known values are plugged into the equation. After solving for delta x, you should get 40.82 meters. 